Here we are in Berlin in Germany and let's add in a shapefile of areas in Berlin. And as usual, the layer is just assigned a random color. If I double click it, let's make some changes to the symbology by clicking on simple fill. We'll change the fill color to red. We'll copy that over to the stroke color. We'll increase the width and I'll add some opacity to the fill color and click apply. I'm changing the outline color now to white and hitting apply. Okay, so I've got a style I'm happy with. This is very common when you're working. You style layers until you're happy with the way they look. Now, if I want to save this as the default style for this layer so that every time I add it, it looks like it does now, I'll double click on the layer and I'll go to symbology and the style button at the bottom is what I want to click. And then I'm just gonna hit save as default. Nothing appears to happen, but that's worked. And I'm gonna click okay. Now, if I remove this file and click okay, and then add it in again, what happens? It's not styled with a random color. It's got that default style that we created. Why does it do this? Well, let's take a little look. When I hit save as default, what happened was a little QML file was added to the folder where the shapefile is. A QML, a QML file is just a little style file that defines how the layer is styled. So if I add it in again, it will have exactly the same style. Okay, so if I remove these layers and finally go back to the folder, if I delete or move that QML file to another place or rename it. So let's just rename it instead of deleting it. If I just rename it, so it's got a different name now and add these in, you can see it's a different style. So this is what happens when you save as default, a QML file is created in the same folder and that will be your default style. So let's do this one more time. I'll change that layer style file name back to match what it was. Let's drop the SHP in one more time. And there we go, the default style for the layer for Berlin.